So, when elements react together, they either gain or lose electrons from their outer shells. Yes. So what actually happens to elements when they react? Well, in a chemical reaction, different elements combine together to form new chemicals called compounds. So compounds are formed by elements combining together by either gaining or losing their outer electrons. Yes. Let's take a look at two elements and how they might combine. Here's sodium from group one. With its one outer electron, which it's desperate to lose. Exactly. So in which group do you think we might find a likely candidate for sodium to react with? Um, Group seven, I guess. Group seven elements all have seven outer electrons. So they're just dying to get hold of an extra electron to make a full shell of eight. OK, so let's take a chlorine atom from group seven, put it next to the sodium atom and... Yes. The sodium's outer electron moves over to the chlorine atom. Exactly. They've reacted to form an ionic compound. Why is it called an ionic compound? Because during the reaction, the sodium atom loses a negative electron in order for it to have a full and stable outer shell of eight electrons. So if an atom loses an electron, this means that it loses a negative charge. It now has more protons than electrons, which means that it is positively charged. We call this a positive ion. OK, so does that mean when the chlorine atom gains a negative electron, it then becomes a negatively charged ion? Precisely. If an atom gains electrons, then it becomes a negative ion. If an atom loses electrons, then it becomes a positive ion. Ah, so when sodium transfers its outer electron to chlorine, we end up with a sodium ion and a chlorine ion, making an ionic compound... Sodium chloride. OK, let's look at the periodic table again. Sodium came from group 1 and chlorine came from group 7. Yeah. And I forget what that squiggly line represents. That separates the metals from the non-metals. Oh, of course. And we can see that sodium is a metal and chlorine is a non-metal. Right. This bit's important. Ionic compounds are only formed between metals and non-metals. <laughs>